We begin with the latest developments with the COVID vaccines as the Biden administration announced a sharp increase in the amount of vaccine doses it is sending out to the states. We're increasing the vaccine supply to 13.5 million doses per week uh, that will go out to states. This is a 57 percent increase from the amount states received when the president was inaugurated. The administration is also upping the number of COVID vaccines being sent to pharmacies. The White House says it is looking to have vaccine doses available at 40,000 local pharmacies nationwide. White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain tweeted, quote, vaccine supplies from the states up from 8.6 million doses per week when we arrived to 13.5 million per week now, up almost 60 percent in just four weeks. This vaccine success could be one of the reasons Biden is enjoying high approval numbers, 62 percent in the latest political morning consult poll. Critics pointing those, out that those actually it's sure, very high. So Willie, those are, are high numbers. Those are really that, high. Those are up there. The other guy. Close to the top. Uh, the last guy, <laughs> or what, however he referred to the other guy. Uh, <laughs> the never got close to. Never got. The former guy never get the yeah. former guy never got within 13 points of that, and I just wonder if a lot of it just has to do with the fact that he's not saying insane things every two or three oh, seconds. But also, a relief. Uh, they have a plan. They have a national plan uh, for a rollout. Uh, the former guy uh, worked as hard as he could to not take any responsibility uh, and to constantly try to pass it down to states, which whose infrastructure uh, again it's. Disjointed over 50 states. Their infrastructure really wasn't prepared for this. It's as, as the other guy said early on, this was war, and he was like a wartime president. He then decided that he was going to push uh, the healthcare equivalent of World War II to state governors. It just didn't work, but this appears to be working extraordinarily well. Yeah, remember, President Trump never cleared 50 percent, which is extraordinary when you stop and think about it in his approval numbers. His ceiling was right around 49 percent. Joe Biden already up at 62 in this poll. And I think you're right. One one part of it is the quiet. We're not hearing from the president every moment of every day. We're not in a perpetual state of combat. The other part of it is the competence, which is to say over the last three weeks since he took office, this White House has been single minded. They don't want to talk about impeachment. They don't want to talk about the former guy, as he made clear last night at that town hall. They've been working on both the health and the economic pieces of this coronavirus crisis, and we're seeing the results. It is true that Operation Warp Speed started under President Trump, gave them a start. And Dr. Fauci has said that. Others have said that. But when you look at the acceleration of the production of vaccines and the distribution of vaccines, there's no question that this White House has taken it much more seriously and been more successful. Some critics pointed out last night that President Biden said there was, quote, no vaccine when he took over. He said there was nothing in the refrigerator, figuratively and literally speaking. But elsewhere in the town hall, he did correct that number. When we came into office, there was only a 50 million uh, doses that are available. We have now, by the end of July, we'll have over 600 million doses, enough to vaccinate every single American. They really, Peter, they really do seem to be focusing on first things first here. And that's what you expect White Houses to do. Certainly, George W. Bush's White House post 9-11 was singularly focused on that. Uh, Barack Obama was singularly focused on economic recovery after the economic collapse. You would have expected Donald Trump to become singularly focused on this health care crisis. He just never could do it. So mm -hmm. this really is a return to normalcy. Joe Biden doing what I think most Republican and Democratic presidents in our lifetime would have done, and that is almost singularly focus on getting those vaccines out there to not only keep people healthy, but to get America's economy running again and to get kids back in school. Well, Joe, I think that's exactly right. The only reason this is surprising or news is because it is so in contrast with the last four years, not in contrast with every other president. You're right, Republicans and Democrats alike would have been normally responding in the same sort of way, sticking to message discipline, focusing on the most important priority that the public has, uh, you know, avoiding distractions to the best uh, degree they possibly can, uh, getting money out the door, getting vaccines out the door. This is exactly what you would expect from a president. It's not ideological. 
not partisan. It's just doing the main, uh, you know, features of the job. And you're hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.